thinking about hitting this with this uh, 120 on the DA here, this target top. But I'm gonna save the, 20, the 120 for some spots that are a little worse on the doors and the quarter panels of the car where there is clear feeling, feeling and there's chips in the paint. This target top, the clear is gone completely and uniformly and there's no chips in the top of this. You know, I guess the rocks don't hit the roof too bad, okay? So this was pretty smooth already. So I opted not to hit it with the 120 and I am wet sanding it with 400 instead. I'm hand block sanding it. Anytime you get a chance to hand block sand something, it's better. It's going to ensure that it comes out even straighter, less waves. Uh, the DA can put some waves in it if you're not experienced with that DA. You have to be careful. Uh, you know, but the, the high build primer will cover for that a little bit. You can hand block that high build primer after you DA something and you know before the paint you'll have it perfectly straight on this even though i'm going to put high build primer i'm going to go ahead and wet sand block the rest of this with 400 and just get it nice and scuffed up for the primer to stick and then we'll spray this with a coat of primer well that's a wrap i put a heavy double coat on there let that flash and then I put the rest of what I mixed on there just one more wet coat man this u-pole primer is super thick I had to really open up the fluid nozzle and the fan uh, pretty much as big as I could get it now you really need some urethane reducer when you're spraying this 2k high build primer every now and then you get some that's thin you know but that's that's not really what you want man I'm happy with this u-pole it's super super thick the thicker the primer you know, the farther it'll go, you can thin it out and stretch it a little bit. So I'd much rather have this. This is the first time I've used it. And uh, that old, I think I was using a high-tech brand primer. Uh, last time I was spraying, and it was kind of cheap stuff, and it would come out so thin you didn't need to reduce it at all. It would just spray on. But this is fine. This is fine for uh, for now. So that's it man, I'll let this dry for a while and I'll move on to the next panel of the car. I'm going to start on the doors and mirrors next. I'll work my way back from there.